Hello again, my name is James Hearney and this video is going to be an extension of the two-period consumption model theory video that I published a little while back. In this video we're going to do a numerical example. We're going to have data on current consumption and future consumption as well as current and future wealth and an interest rate. In this video we're going to do two different examples both with the same numbers but the difference going to be that the first example will have an agent that perfectly consumption smooths so that person will be consuming the same amount in the current period as they will in the future period and then the second example we're going to look at someone who consumes twice as much in the current period as they would in the future period. Here we have the data that we will be working with for the rest of this problem. The notation on the screen is from the previous video, but we have current income at $300, expected future income at $100, current wealth at $100, and we have expected future wealth at $0. Our real interest rate is 5%, and we see that the optimal bundle of consumption is when we see current consumption equaling to future consumption. Now from the previous video, we showed how the present value of lifetime resources has to equal the present value of lifetime consumption in our model. And we were able to find this equation, where the left-hand equation shows that we have the current income and wealth plus the discounted value of the future income and wealth has to equal the current consumption plus the discounted value of the future consumption. Again our optimal consumption bundle says that our agent consumes the same amount in the current period as they will in the future period so we can simply just substitute in and the right side of our equation shows that we have C star in two separate places and that's simply just because we're substituting in C star for CF star because we know that those are going to be equal in this example. What we're going to be able to do is we're going to multiply everything by 1 plus r, so that's going to get rid of our denominators. And so we're going to get y plus a times 1 plus r plus yf plus af has to equal our c star times 1 plus r plus c star. Anytime during this video you feel you need to stop, pause, take some notes, do the algebra out, please do that. I strongly encourage it. Our next step is simply just working with the right side of the equation and we are going to factor out the C star. So the left side of the equation stays the same. The right side of the equation, we're taking the one plus R and then the one out of the right hand side and we're going to get C star times one plus R plus one. Again, working just with the right hand side, we're just simplifying. So we see the left hand side is the same and on the right hand side, we're gonna have C star multiplied by two plus R. The next step is simply going to be to divide by 2 plus r from both sides so we can get our c star value. We do that and we see that c star is going to equal y plus a times 1 plus r plus yf plus af all divided by 2 plus r. Now we know what the value of current consumption is going to be and we just need to plug in our numbers. We plug in 300 for current income and 100 for current wealth. We plug in our 5% for our interest rate and we also plug in 100 for our future income. If we simplify this down, we just have 400 times 1.05 plus 100 divided by 2.05, which gives us 420 plus 100 divided by 2.05, which is equal to 520 divided by 2.05 and gives us $253.66 as our current consumption. But we know that our agent perfectly consumption smooths, so we know that current consumption is equal to future consumption, which is equal to $253.66. Now let's move on to the second example. The second example keeps the same numbers, it's just now you notice that the optimal consumption bundle says that my current consumption is going to be equal to twice the future consumption. We go through the same exact steps. We know that present value of lifetime resources equals present value of lifetime consumption. Expressed as an equation is what we have here on the screen. But now, because current consumption is equal to twice future consumption, 
we are going to substitute in 2CF for our original C, meaning that we are going to plug in 2 times future consumption in for current consumption, and that's what we have here. Again, we are going to work with the uh, whole equation to begin with and we're going to get rid of the denominator by multiplying everything by 1 plus r. If we do that, we're going to get y plus a times 1 plus r plus yf plus af is going to equal 2 times cf times 1 plus r plus cf. Again, feel free to stop this video and do the algebra out yourself to make sure you're understanding each step of the way. On the right hand side of this equation, we are going to factor out the CF. Just like in the last example, we factored out the C. By doing so, you can see we factored out 2 times 1 plus R from the first term, and then we factored out a 1 from the second term. And so the right hand side of this equation is our CF star times 2 times 1 plus R plus 1. We can distribute that 2 and also combine our like terms, and we can see that the right hand side of this equation is going to be CF star times 3 plus 2R. The way we're going to get our CF star by itself is by dividing both sides by 3 plus 2R. When we do that, you can see that our optimal future consumption is going to be Y plus A times 1 plus R plus YF plus AF and divide that entire thing by 3 plus 2R. Just like the last example, now we plug in our data that was given for the problem. And so we have 300 plus 100 times 1 plus 0 0.05 plus 100 plus 0 divided by 3 plus 0 0.1. Combine our terms, get everything into simplified values, and we're going to have 400 times 1.05 plus 100 divided by 3.1, which tells us that it's 420 plus 100 divided by 3.1, which is equal to 520 divided by 3.1. And this is going to equal 167.74. So that tells us that our future consumption is going to be $167.74. Now, we know that current consumption is twice as much as future consumption, and so therefore, we see that our current consumption is going to be 2 times 167.74, which means that our current consumption is going to be $335.48. I hope this short video on a mathematical example of a two-period consumption model really helped out. If you're still confused, feel free to shoot me an email or follow me on Twitter. My handle is at James underscore Tierney. You can also check out a video I did a few years ago that uh, has a little bit different notation, but it still goes over the same idea, and this time it has two separate interest rates, so it gives you a different look at the two-period consumption model. Thank you very much.